Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carrie Roper. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Vice President Kamala Harris made a stop at MGM Grand to deliver remarks to steel workers, the culinary union, and more. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more on her message. Vice President Kamala Harris was in Vegas Wednesday for a series of events. Union jobs for workers who will forge the steel we need to produce wind turbines and solar panels. While addressing the Steel Workers Union during its 2022 convention, she also talked about inflation. The president and my vision for the future also means lowering costs for Americans. Today we learned that last month our economy had 0% inflation. In July, we saw a drop in gas prices and a range of other goods like clothing and airfares and household appliances, which means more money in the pockets of working families. Her visit comes fresh off the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act. She says this act will help deal with the climate crisis and create jobs. Republicans say this bill will only make inflation worse since it involves raising taxes. Harris also met with the Culinary Union and spoke with Nevada lawmakers about abortion rights. To read more, go to LVRJ.com. The Nevada Supreme Court ruled the state does not have to pay inmates minimum wages, dismissing a lawsuit brought on by former inmate David Gonzalez. Gonzalez cleaned up roadways for the forestry division while he served an armed robbery sentence and was paid just $3 per day. Gonzalez's lawyers argued inmate wages amounted to a system of slave labor, but attorneys for the state said inmate and employer relationships are not the same as free employees. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, the Nevada Gaming Control Board approved a recommendation for fantasy sports giant FanDuel to be licensed to collaborate in the operation of Boyd Gaming Corp's Fremont Casino property. Final approval is expected at the Nevada Gaming Commission's August 25th meeting. Now, if approved, the collaboration will begin within a couple months. And Shack LLC, the parent company of Sapphire Las Vegas Gentlemen's Club, is seeking a state gaming license and county approval to operate bar top poker machines. The current ordinance sets a separation of 250 feet between slot machines and an adult entertainment business. If approved, a dozen bar top poker machines will be installed in a 1,000 square foot area within the 40,000 square foot club. Now for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloomin' thing. Today's high will hit up to 95 degrees with mostly sunny skies, but you could see a few showers and thunderstorms in parts of the valley. Starting your weekend off on Friday, expect partly cloudy skies with some light winds. The possibility of more showers is still around with humidity hitting up to 44%. And that's pretty much how it'll stay throughout your weekend and heading into Monday. In your lifestyle news, with rising costs of inflation, diaper prices are also up. Baby's Bounty hosted their monthly drive through diaper bank event in an effort to ease the financial burden for about 500 families. People lined up between 9 a.m. and noon to receive about a week's supply of diapers and wipes. Uh, we do this once a month at our North Las Vegas location and once a month at our Las Vegas location off Desert Inn and Valley View. We do require registration. Again, they can do that easily on the website, babiesbounty.org. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders have signed free agent wide receiver Chris Lacey. The 26-year-old spent two seasons with the Detroit Lions and has appeared in eight career games with two starts, totaling three receptions for 60 yards. Lacey originally signed as an undrafted free agent with the New England Patriots in 2018. In a corresponding move, the Raiders released wide receiver Jordan Vesey. Sports brought to you by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. UNLV men's basketball head coach Kevin Kruger has announced that Jamal Williams will be joining his staff as an assistant. Williams joins the Run and Rebels after serving in the same role at Portland State last season. UNLV is preparing for a three game exhibition tour that will take them to British Columbia, Canada, beginning on Tuesday, August 16th. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. 
The Baltimore Ravens will try to extend their NFL record 20-game preseason win streak today against the Tennessee Titans. The Ravens are three and a half point favorites at the Westgate Superbook after opening at minus three and climbing as high as minus five. The Westgate and the South Point each reported taking sharp action on the Titans plus four. In today's other NFL game, the New York Giants are two and a half point favorites over the New England Patriots after opening as two point underdogs. In your health news sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Did you know about 62% of the U.S. population is eligible to give blood, but only 3% does? Well, by making an appointment to help save lives with the American Red Cross in August, donors can pump up the blood supply, avoiding shortage levels. As a thank you, all blood donors this month will be automatically entered for a chance to win gas for an entire year. That's a $6,000 value. There'll be three lucky winners, but everyone who donates blood this month will also receive a $10 e-gift card to a merchant of choice. Donors can schedule an appointment using the information on your screen. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed, Melissa Etheridge is headlining the House of Blues at Mandalay Bay on August 20th, and she's excited to play all her hits. Etheridge dates to a time when People got into music on the radio or even on MTV, heard it and bought it. Now she says she reaches her fans directly. She was one of the early pioneers in internet outreach and she says she's selling an experience and she can't wait to read the room and rock the place at Mandalay Bay. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Carrie Roper. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. And if you're watching 7 at 7 a.m. on YouTube, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.